now Russia and China are paying for gas in rubles and yuan. Also, Japan breaks with right. U.S. allies and buys Russian oil at prices above the $60 cap. And here's right. what you were just talking about. China and Brazil have reached a deal to trade in their own currencies, <sighs> ditching the U.S. dollar as an intermediary. Also bad. And so that led Marco Rubio, Marco Rubio to, re to say this part out loud. So this is kind of funny. Today, Brazil, in our hemisphere, largest country in the Western Hemisphere south of us, cut a trade deal with China. They're going to, from now on, do trade in their own currencies, get right around the dollar. They're creating a, a secondary economy in the world, totally independent of the United States. Huh. We won't have to talk about sanctions in five years because there'll be so many countries transacting in currencies other than the dollar that, that we won't have the ability to sanction them. So he's just admitting that U.S. sanctions and economic terrorism are useless in a world that trades in rubles, yuan, rupees, pesos, other. And so that's what's going away, right? We won't have the ability to do all these sanctions, correct? Right. But the truth of it is, Jimmy, that these sanctions were working anyway. I know. <laughs> what, 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 what was going on was a political theater. We're going to hit them with this. So we're a mother of all sanctions. One of these clever ad phrases after another. What the Russians have showed us is that they now have a global economy. They can get around it. They can't sell oil and gas to Europe. They'll sell it to China, India, Brazil, and, and half of the rest of the world. You can't play the role you once did. What Rubio doesn't understand is that this process is already two decades old. It's well underway. The fact that he didn't figure it out before, uh, that tells you more about him than it does about the situation. The reality is we've got to come to terms with this. Otherwise, there'll be increasingly desperate efforts to hold back a history that will not permit the United States any more than it permitted all the other ex-empires from holding back history. Let's come to terms with it. Let's work out a live and let live deal with the others that are on this planet. If we keep being belligerent and hostile <laughs> and, you know, it's just it's so self-defeating that it's me. I mean, I was born in Ohio. I've lived here all my life. I, I, I'm an American citizen. I've worked here. I'm embarrassed and sad at watching not so much our economic difficulties, but the reaction to them, which is a mixture of denial and belligerence, and that's just not smart. Isn't this isn't what's happening right now what they were warning what would happen when Trump became president, that the rest of the world, even our friends, would start creating alliances against us and they would turn against us. And now they are. There's BRICS happening. What just happened yep. with Brazil. So now there's all these now China and Russia are working together, Japan and Saudi Arabia and Russia and India. And and so now they're and uh, also uh, South uh, in Africa is working yep. with China and Russia and and Russia and China is bringing peace to the Middle East instead of war, which is the United States brought. And this is all bad for the, the for the United States. And now Russia's economy is booming, is doing better than it was before the war. And it's the craziest thing to see happen. This is what they right. warned Trump was going to do. And of course, when Joe Biden gets in, who's a complete puppet of the military industrial complex and Wall Street at the same time, this is what it looks like. It looks like what they warned us Trump was going to do. Trump didn't do that stuff. He didn't start a new war. They get rid of Trump because he wouldn't start a new war. And here we are occupying a third of Syria, now trying to play moral uh, hijinks with uh, Ukraine because Russia is acting rationally, pushing back against NATO expansion in uh, Ukraine. Anyway, what, uh, what, 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 you want to say something, Kurt? Well, OK, so now that we're in our fat Elvis years, do you think it'll play out the way it did for <laughs> fat Elvis? Like we start pulling people over on the highway. <laughs> the it, DA back. That fake. That's what it is. So we're like the George, so you know, the George Zimmerman. We're like of the, the George world, Zimmerman yeah. of the world, right? We're, we're, yeah. we're, well, we, thought we, had a we thought Iraq had a weapon. They said Skittles. It turned out. Yeah, it turned out they had Skittles. You know, there's a, there's another headline that came out today that I'm surprised uh, the Florida senator there didn't uh, make a deal of. We are now so desperate as if we weren't involved enough in dangerous war in Ukraine, a dangerous. <clears throat> military buildup around China, 
uh, we are not, we the U.S. together with Canada are now threatening uh, AMLO and the government of Mexico, and that we're threatening them because they have the temerity to just have purchased private from a private company enough uh, power generating stations so that guess what the majority of electric power produced in mexico now is produced by the government not by private enterprises and the united states and i mean this and canada have threatened mexico because they want it kept open for the, their own corporations to be free to invest in there <laughs> this is a kind of tone deaf behavior that doesn't seem to recognize that's not the way the world is going. Nowhere. And now you're going to do it literally on the border of the United States? Uh, are you nuts? What are you doing here? That's, it, it becomes yeah. behavior that makes you really wonder what I know what really is going on here. What's going on is that we we are our country's run by criminal psychopaths who only care about making money. It has nothing. There are a, corporations are amoral, and so if they can make more money by overthrowing a government that's helping their people, they'll overthrow a government <laughs> that's helping their people, so they can make more money. That's what we've done. I mean, that's what the banana wars were. That's what the confessions of an economic hitman. That's what it's always been about. That's what war is a racket by Smedley Butler. They've been forever and ever. War is about a handful of people making immense amounts of money, and that's why they're willing to do all this. And now our country is literally run by the people who do the wars, and there's no intermediary anymore. They, you know, they have a meeting. One of these people get together. It's called a, a session of Congress. And whose bidding do you think they're doing? They're doing. They're, they're legislating at the interest of the handful of the most powerful people in the country. That's what's happening. That's and they all want war because they all want to go overthrow other governments and steal their natural resources, which were why we're occupying a third of, of, of Syria right now, why we're always saber rattling with Venezuela, China, Russia, and now and Syria, and now with Mexico. Now it's literally on our border. You can't do what you want to help your people because we want a part of that money. Well, what do you want to say? They're not saying that. They're saying the drug problem's so bad we might have to go in That's now. what they're That's, saying. Yeah. That'll so be we the gotta, cover. It used to be we have to bring their people democracy, yeah. but now it's saying we have to go fight the drug cartels in Mexico. That That's we made worse with Everything we everything did, we ever by did taking Chapa, we made it worse. All That's of it. right. It's not even as good as if it was space lizards behind it. That would be a more hopeful story. Yes. If secret lizards, because lizards are kind of nice. Like this is pure, <laughs> pure selfish. Like, yes. Yeah. It's 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 everything they pretend. It's everything they said Trump was. They actually are. So that's classic Jungian psychology. That was a hundred percent projection, and that's why they were, could be so accurate when they would say stuff like that because that's who they are. They are Trump. They're the. They warned us about Trump because they are him. They wanted to the things that they made us pretend he was. He wasn't that. He wasn't an all imperialist. The things, <laughs> all the things that they were talking, the conspiratorial things. It came out that they've been doing those. They've things. been doing all the things. <laughs> it's an all the things and every yes, that's right. Everything they said about Joe Rogan, they were doing themselves. <laughs> they were lying about COVID for profit. Anyway, here's one more. I just wanted to show this. Uh, Marco Rubio says, oh, my God, the rest of the world wants to get away from the dollar. We won't be able to sanction everyone anymore. No shit, Sherlock. If you wouldn't be such a thieving thug and freeze foreign property and reserves on a whim, you probably wouldn't be having these issues. That's probably right. They're going to end our special exceptional cancel culture of the world. We our, do? Yeah, our cancel culture of the world. And so here it is again. So now here's Michael McFall. He's a crazy maniac neocon and who's always got his fingers in government. And he says there are so many more sanctions that could and should be implemented. Read our papers. <laughs> International Working Group on <laughs> Russian sanctions. How rich do you want Russia to get, dude? Dude. It's unbelievable. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny. For only $10, you get to become a premium member, too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.